I didn't have high expectations going into this, but it was really good. I enjoyed it. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about the new movie, Gran Turismo. The movie stars Archie Madaway, David Harborough, Orlando Bloom, Diamond Hansu. It's based on a true story. Uh, Gran Turismo is a video game. It's a PlayStation game. It's a driving simulator. Uh, this guy created a Gran Turismo... Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Gran Turismo. The movie stars Archie Madawick, David Harborough, Orlando Bloom, Diamond Hansu. It's based on a true story. Gran Turismo is a video game. It's a driving game, bunch of cars, bunch of tracks. This guy creates like a Gran Turismo simulator where you can drive all the tracks, get access to all the cars, make adjustments to the cars, and you have a steering wheel and you drive. Uh, this one kid, uh, Jan, I believe is his name, He's really good at it. He wants to race cars. That's his dream to always race cars. His dad is like, listen, that's not your life. You're not doing any of that. Focus on going back to school or something or working where I work at because driving is not in the in the cars for you. Then you have Orlando Bloom's character. I believe his name is Danny. He is he works in marketing and he's like, yo, we need to do a competition for Gran Turismo simulator players and get a sim racer to be a real racer. And at first they like, I don't know, but they allow him to open what's called GT Academy. And of course, Jan is participating and he gets to go in and he's competed against all these other people in Gran Turismo. So they are practicing on the simulator, but they have to go on the track. And that's where David Harborough's character comes in, Jack. He's a former driver. He was, he was pretty solid, but you know, he stopped racing. And he's brought in to train these guys to be real racers because there's a big difference between, of course, driving in your living room and on the track with these super fast cars. And he's like, this is a joke. He was working with someone else and they were they were jerks. And, you know, they didn't appreciate him. So he was like, all right, I'll do this. But all these gamers are, they're, they're jokes. They're not going to really do anything. But he makes that connection with, with Jan. And, you know, they, they form this bond. And, of course, he wins GTA you know GT Academy but he has to place in, in certain races to get his license and it's a back and forth with him and his father and it's not all like sunshine it's not like just everything starts working out for him they don't really like him even in his first race like his whole pit crew they don't really rock with him like that because he's not a real racer you know he's he played video games and happened to be here so they don't they don't really connect with him like that but he does have that connection with David Harborough's character you know, and they start learning about each other and, you know, they form that bond, you know, that he doesn't really have with his his father at the time because they, they're beefing. And it was a cool movie. The races are really good, like really well done. There's a few times where it like cuts into being a video game. And then at times you also see like, I would call it gamer vision. You see how like Jan sees the track and let's say a, a, a car is going one way and it's the, that's the way it's supposed to go you see that he thinks differently and it does that a few times takes you out the, the movie a little bit but i enjoyed the races it was it was dramatic you was you, you felt the tension um there are some emotional moments you know with a, a bunch of characters it is a little bit long it, it's over two hours it felt a little long so they could have cut 15 20 minutes out of it but i enjoyed it it was it was a solid movie if you like racing movies this is a solid racing movie it technically is a video game movie but it is based on a true story and you see that you know at the, when the film ends and everything and it's a it's a cool story so if you get a chance check out Gran Turismo you it might be a little long but you'll enjoy it those are just my thoughts if you've seen the movie let me know what you thought about it thank you for watching